In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to put checkboxes on your Xamarin form and respond to them. Checkboxes are not included by default in the toolbox, so some people think that they don't exist, but they are there. You simply have to type them. All right, so I currently have a two row, f oh, I'm sorry, two column, four row, four form. I'm going to add a couple rows to this. I'm going to add a row for deductions and a row for gross p for net pay. So my net pay is now is going to be at the bottom. So I'm going to add a label similar to this instead of gross output, it'll be net output, and I will be in row five. My similar to my gross pay, I moved down one to be in row four. And I'll put my deductions in row three. All right, so in a checkbox, it's not there. Okay, it does exist. Checkboxes exist. Radio buttons exist. Anything you want from a form exists. Okay, so checkboxes. We have to do two things. We have to use a checkbox. We have to build a label. Right, so. The checkbox will be below the label. So to build a checkbox, I give it a simple name like this, and I'll put it in my grid. Above it, I'm going to put a label. I'm putting the exact same row and grid. By default, the checkbox will render underneath the label. Do the same thing with revision. Make sure you name them differently. If you wish to use a radio button, those work the same with the exception of you have multiple sets of radio buttons, you need to put them in a radio group. So let's run this and verify that it's working correctly. Oops, it's not it's because I forgot to change my columns for my labels and my vision. So let's fix that. You see how they're stacked there. Programming language do precisely what they tell you to do, or what you tell them to do. Save and hot reload fixes it for me. These check on, they're all pretty. All right, let's handle the behind the scenes. So I need to create a variable, double net equals zero. The assumption is I'm not taking the deduction, so our net pay will be equal to our gross pay. I'm ignoring taxes right now. So set net equal to pay, and then I'm gonna check to see my checkbox you picked. That's it. If dental was checked, we'll subtract say 100 bucks. For checkbox, you have to check each one. It's not an if else if scenario, it's an if scenario because checkboxes either can be picked. If these are radio buttons, this will be an if else if scenario. text see how it's angry because I cannot convert this string into this object this label object always got to set it to a property okay we'll run it okay it's up let's see if it works do some simple math if I work 10 hours at 20 hours a week that's 200 bucks I need to change this output here I knock off dental it's 100, knock off vision, it's 50. 
you can respond to these automatically. You can, as soon as you check that, modify the math. That is simply adding a different event. So let's fix my little glitch. This should be net pay. Oops, wrong button. There we are. That would be pretty sad if you worked 10 hours and you only got 50 bucks back. I fixed my clear button from before. That works too. But since I didn't put my net pay in there, I need to clear the clear button as well. Notice how I clear out my objects and I set my focus to the object in the, that I want the uh, user to start typing in. Alright, so you've seen simply how to respond to um, checkboxes in code. You put the checkbox on your screen, you give it a label. Checkbox by default will render below it. I believe you can change that with a little bit of properties. And it becomes easy to deal with. You can set events here and then respond immediately to a checkbox. Alright, thank you for watching. Good luck.